According to the website, peeltheorange.com, Marvel will be turning the Iron Fist Netflix ex- TV show into a Netflix exclusive feature film. Um, so they're doing this so that this will give Marvel extra time and a larger budget for the project. And the Punisher will replace Iron Fist as one of the four defenders. Now that was the quote right there. Um, And so it looks like, and we've been hearing rumblings about this. Netflix has been out there trying to get people to help them to adapt the, the story of Iron Fist, because that's a more magical thing rather than the street level justice that you got from like daredevil or luke cage or jessica jones and now the punisher so it makes sense now in the comics iron fist and luke cage you know those were the heroes for hire so those two together made perfect sense for their own tv show but with what netflix and marvel seem to be trying to do with the daredevil the jessica jones and the luke cage shows seems to be a little bit off uh, of a different path than what we had we were going to get from iron fist and there was also and if you want to check it out i'm sure we have a video somewhere in there i know for a fact we've done a topic on it um uh, on iron fist and there was also talk that you know, this was going to be kind of either an introduction for Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, Doctor Strange, because, again, both of them are more in the magical, the mystical realms of the Marvel Universe. And so we had heard some rumblings about that. So this this is, again, this is just a rumor. This is nothing serious. I've Peel the Orange sounds like a good site. They say that they have an insider um, that's telling them information. He, uh, this insider works for either Netflix or Marvel on the production of these shows. So it seems to be legit. And it, it does seem like it, it makes sense, but it's still rumors and everything. So that leads to a couple questions. Number one, um, with the Punisher now taking over the show and his introduction being in the Daredevil series, because he's going to play a major part in Daredevil season two. Are we going to see a Punisher t- uh, Netflix show? My guess is likely yes. Uh, I can't imagine they'd want to do this. They won't break from the format that they originally had by having the four Defender shows and then, you know, coming together and then making them all one. So we're probably going to see Punisher introduced in uh, Daredevil and then fleshed out more in his own series. Yeah, I could see that. Um, That would also mean that Punisher probably will take less of a role in in daredevil uh then maybe we thought he might show up a little bit more because if he has his own show you we do expect him to get promoted in daredevil more but um mm-hmm. but not not have like side stories or not be a a, a dedicated you know, recurring main character really well i could probably see us getting punisher because actually he is supposed to be a pretty big part of the the main story i believe um because he's he shows up in town after fisk gets taken away and he's trying to like just clean the rest mm-hmm. of the streets and daredevil's kind of like wow you're going a little bit too far here buddy um but it is so he is supposed to be recurring but you're right, he might take a little bit of a step back, but I think they've already written most of the script, at least, I would imagine they have. Well, if, when do we... Uh, and they're probably we... starting to film pretty soon if it's going to come out in March again this year, like the Daredevil Season 1 came out. You know what, actually, while well, I'm thinking of it, with Netflix, the game can change drastically from what we're used to seeing oh, yeah. on TV. So maybe because of their release schedule being so different, maybe we'll see him as a big character in daredevil and daredevil gets released let's say february and punisher gets released april right um could happen yeah so that they're uh, you just you wouldn't expect them to be simultaneously running as new shows with one as a big character and the other uh with punisher as a big character in one and the main character in another um but you might see it if if it was like a spin-off show right that's not running simultaneously like running several months after or whatever yeah then, or i mean you would take a different maybe they introduce they him the in daredevil time. and he yeah they might introduce him in daredevil and you get a little bit of development they at least strongly establish the character And then, now, I hate to say it this way, but maybe a prequel series about how he got to the point where he was with Mm -hmm. Daredevil. Um, And Elektra's also coming in this this year, and she's going to be a very main character. So maybe they make Punisher a little bit less of what they thought he was going to be, and Elektra a little more. And then they they 
spin it off into a, a Punisher TV show, which eventually will all come together as the Defenders. Again, these are all rumors, but it's fun to speculate with this yeah. stuff. And, and I think I think Punisher just as a character would fit a lot better with Daredevil, with Luke Cage, with uh, Jessica Jones. Even though Jessica Jones and Luke Cage both have their their more superpowers, like uh, I think Power Man, Luke Cage, it's got like invincible skin can never be you know he's kind of like superman and he's super strong jessica jones is kind of like wonder woman she can fly and she's super strong and daredevil didn't quite have those powers so i think they're trying to rein in the powers a little bit more make it more of a realistic show which again yeah, can't really do that show. too much but it's a still a superhero show right but it's not going as far as you see with the movie universe where the movie universe they're just way out there i mean they're they're established as you know demigods almost it, it, among humans uh, like with thor iron man uh hulk captain america those guys are really really they're they're more in the sci-fi realm almost you could call it and they're trying to ground the rest of the series a little bit more in reality again it's you can only go so far it is a superhero show so you do have to showcase the the extraterrestrial not extraterrestrial uh i don't know the more uh, powered side of things, but yeah. it's going to be interesting. Um, and, and then the other side of it is what they're going to do with Iron Fist. And so they're saying that they're going to be able to bring a larger budget to it, and they're going to be able to take more time to develop this character, which would have been the trickiest of the characters. Because, again, he goes to somewhere near the Himalayas, and that's where that, I can't remember the name of the land is, but that's where he gets goes in and he gets the powers of the chi and everything and like that. And he, he develops his mystical powers over time. And if they were planning on having that as either an introduction for Benedict Cumberbatch's uh, Doctor Strange or more of a teammate for Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange, that would make a little more sense. And now we are getting Doctor Strange in January, I believe, 2016. So it's not too much time um, to quite do two movies i wouldn't say but again if it's if it's more of a they could do one after they introduce benedict cumberbatch as doctor strange and then show where he might connect with iron fist in the netflix movie so it's not a bad idea i do like having a tv show especially from netflix i mean i'm sorry when you can get 10 episodes of awesomeness rather than just two hours of awesomeness i do appreciate that you know mm. but if they're gonna put a lot more into those two episodes or all 10 episodes into two I could see it being pretty spectacular. So I am pretty excited about that. Um, but the, you know, the third question that came to me, though, was with Netflix, and we talked about this a couple weeks ago, with Netflix versus the theaters, you think we're going to see a dual release? Is Marvel going to put that much into it to say, okay, this is going to be a dual release like they did with um, um, Beasts Among Us or something? I can't remember the Idris Elba pick that we talked about a couple weeks ago. And so it'll hit theaters and it'll hit streaming at the same time. And what better way to really say, hey, this is the way the things are going to go? Because think about it. What Marvel movie can any of these theaters afford to turn down? They yeah. can't turn I mean, turn even if it is a superhero movie. At the same time. Yeah, especially a Marvel one, because I mean, I guess you could afford to turn down some of the DC ones. Those have not done as well, other than Batman. Um, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, it, that's what all the movies are right now are the Marvel uh, superhero mm -hmm. movies. Those are the ones that go Those, out there and make a hundred million dollars. You yeah, know, that's uh, the bread and butter in the first right weekend. Now. Yeah. So, I, if that is the case, which it almost, from what I read, it doesn't seem like that is the way they're leaning. But with everything I've been seeing with, from Netflix recently, that makes sense for Netflix to say, hey, okay, this is what the idea we're trying out. If Marvel's cool with us doing it this way, we'd love to do it that way. I mean, what better venue to really attract thousands, hundreds of thousands of people to subscribe to your channel that haven't than just to say, hey, you could go out and spend $20 per ticket to see this movie, or you can spend $8.99 and watch it and watch all this other stuff for a month. Think about it. And granted, that and, would also be the best time, though, um, for movie theaters to agree to it because mm -hmm. those the big movies like superhero movies are also the ones that like people want to go see in IMAX, for instance. Exactly. They're willing to pay an extra the, five bucks. The, They're willing to pay mm -hmm. the extra money to go see it. On the and big, big screen, at least screen sound booming yeah. and everything like that. Because that's part of the, the, the atmosphere yeah. that you love from the superhero movies. Yeah. That's why they work so well in movie theaters. Is so because the movie of the, theaters might not the lose very much yeah. from doing Yeah, so that. this could be uh, the, the way to actually merge these two and say, okay, play nice and watch. It'll be beneficial for both of you. 
Um, so I, I'm very curious to see how this all plays out. I think it's really cool. If it is going this way, uh, at least they're not... Uh, at first, when I first read the headline, you know, Iron Fist to be made in a movie, I was like, damn it, we're going to miss out on a TV show. And then they say, okay, but don't worry. We're going to have Punisher step in, which would be cool. I still want to see Iron Fist meet up with Luke Cage. Heroes for Hire is is an awesome storyline. It was a really cool comic book. It was one of those ones that was lower on the, the tiers of, of superheroes, but it was still, it was fun. They did some cool things and I, and the banter and the chemistry between those two characters in the comics. And even in all the little TV shows that they pop up on has always been spectacular. So I hope we don't lose out on totally uh, getting iron fist out of the defenders. I hope he still has some sort of plans um, to be with the defenders at some point, maybe not as a main defender, like the main four, but they definitely, even if they only do a movie, he could still be a character in that TV show. You That's know, all I'm saying. You know what we really need to see? What's that? Iron Fist versus Superman. But that wouldn't be any good. Iron Fist can't beat Superman. He's got magic. Powers. Actually, magic. That's right. That's, that's Superman's one of, that's, that's Krypton, a, Kryptonite yeah, and magic. Kryptonite yeah. magic. Yeah, Just saying, yeah. he's he's got he's got one of the weaknesses. Yeah, he's I just don't like level. Superman. He's not a top tier uh, Marvel superhero, but one of the weaknesses, may, maybe. Are there any magic top tier? Um, Shazam Marvel? for DC. I guess you could consider him a top tier. He's he's up he's like, there. He's like a second tier. At the, like he could and be a top tier. He but tried to push him up in the top tier for a while. I, yeah, they, they I think for a while he was. He, yeah, I would see. Yeah, maybe, maybe Shazam would be a, a big ma- matchup, but uh, yeah, because he's magical. That that's the big thing. You now, know, granted, but... I'm I'm just kind of you know, fooling around here because Marvel and DC aren't going to do a crossover. Anytime. They, they've, they've done, done it before. Team, uh, they've done some do crossovers right. from time yeah. to time. Yeah. Crossovers have happened. I'm just saying I don't think either of them have plans to do a crossover anytime soon, and I highly doubt they're going to match up Iron Fist versus Superman. Yeah, However, yeah. it would be pretty interesting. Comments down below. Yeah, what do you think? What do you what do you think? Hey, maybe we'll Why? start a campaign yeah. or something. You never know. But yeah, definitely hit us up. Let us know what you think. Would you rather see an Iron Fist TV show or would you rather see an Iron Fist movie? Let and us know. Who would win, Superman or, or, or Iron Fist? Superman or Iron Fist? I mean, obviously, Superman's going to win that poll, but all right, we'll ask it anyway. <laughs> so that's what democracy is about. Even if you know the answer to the question, you hey, still ask. Convince Brian why he's wrong. And okay, go convince me why I'm wrong. But yeah, Google Plus and Facebook, always good ways of getting a hold of us. Twitter, at Words for My Face is our Twitter handle, and WordsMyFace.com, always a great place. So 